All right, we're gonna download some presets. This is an option if you are only using Lightroom Mobile on your phone and you don't have the desktop option. So this is the email that was generated after I purchased the presets. So I'm logging into my dashboard. Um, it already remembered me for my login, so I'm going to hit the brand edit Lightroom presets. This is the presets in my dashboards. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit download. And we are going to go to more and we want this to go to our files. So I'm using an iPhone, so this is what it looks like in um, an iPhone setting. So we're going to go ahead and hit save. So that will download into my files. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my files app. Whoops. Files. No, oh, okay. Downloads. All right, here we go. And here is my brand presets right here. You can hold and press to uncompress them if they're not opening for you automatically right here. Um, and then it will open as a folder. So this is the folder, uh, everything that's inside. These DNG files, the ones that look like images, those will be what we want to load into Lightroom. So we're going to go ahead and hit the little three dots up at the top hit the select so that way we can select all of these image files. Okay. And then we will go down to the bottom left and open. You can either save them to your, if you want to save them to your camera roll and upload them into Lightroom that way, you can do the save 15 images there, or you can go here and open up in the Lightroom app, go launch Lightroom now then it will open them all in the app. And it just opens them as images. So these DNG images, they contain all of the information from all of our presets. And sadly, this is the only way right now that you can uh, import presets directly into Lightroom. So it is the longer version than doing desktop, but it does work. Okay. So I clicked into my first, uh, my first preset here, the flat and the curve, and we're going to go ahead and hit the top little dots at the corner. And, um, we want to go create preset and, um, it will automatically do user presets unless you create your own group. So I already created a group that's this ampersand, the brand edits preset uh, by ampersand. And then, or you can do the create new presets group there. I'm going to go ahead and select the one I already created and we are going to name this preset. So I like my presets to be in order. And so I'm hoping that if I, um, if I title these with the same, uh, the same nuances as the desktop ones, then hopefully they will upload in order. Okay. So we're going to do an underscore flatten the curve, go ahead and save. Then we're going to swipe. This is classic black and white, and we are going to create preset. And for all of my actual presets, I like to have this little bracket ampersand because it helps put them in order and it looks like the desktop ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that so that way I can paste down all of them. Um, so this is classic black and white and we're gonna select the group, got it. Okay, this is green plus plus plus, create preset. This is a booster, so I'm titling these with underscores, so hopefully they show up at the bottom. Whoops. Fat fingers. Okay. Plus. This is definitely more tedious than the automatic upload that doing it from desktop works. Then just continue to do the same process for all of the remaining presets and get them all saved out into that folder that you created until you have 
all 15 of the presets, the 10 presets, and the five preset boosters. And if you mess up on any of the naming or want to rename them later, you can edit all of the names in the presets. After you get all of your presets saved into your Lightroom Mobile, you can go into your presets here by selecting an image in your gallery, and you go down to the bottom part here, these two little interlocking circles that says presets. Click on that. There are recommended, premium, and then they will be under yours here at the end. And then you will have whatever you named your folder, your brand edit presets. I named mine the, the brand edit presets by ampersand and I click into it and there should be 15 presets in here. So I named mine so that way the presets all have little ampersand next to them. And then I've got my grain boosters that have a little dash and then my other boosters that have an underscore score. So there you go. And you can just start editing away on your images and test out all of your presets. Oh my gosh, these are going to be so fun. Hopefully that was a helpful tutorial. Let us know if you have any other questions and happy editing.